together with the 3.3 patch, the whole systems around high grade emissions has changed. But luckily, it has made them a lot easier to locate and a lot easier to farm for grade 5 materials. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort worthy of the Imperial Cutter. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So you probably already know that you can use high-grade emissions to farm grade 5 materials for engineering. And you may already know as well that you can also get specific materials dependent on what system you're in. So different materials are kind of tied into a, a different state. So if you want, for instance, uh, core dynamic composites, you want to go to a federal system. And if you want something like um, military-grade alloys or military supercapacitors, you will go to a system in war and civil war. Now, if you want to have an overview of where you can get different materials. I'm going to link my spreadsheet in the uh, in the description where you can see all the different materials, where you can get them and where it's available. There will also be links to video guides and you will also be able to find this video in that list. But first of all, let's have a look at the new high grades. Now, let's say that we are looking for um, materials from, let's say, Boom, for instance. So the first thing you would do was to go into your map or any third party tool that you like, either the B, Inara, whatever you fancy. Um, if you're going to do it in-game, just go over here to the second to last tab. Make sure this is um, view map configuration set to state. Select the state you're looking for. In my case, it's boom. I also recommend you go down and filter this by population. There seems to be a higher chance to get high grades in high population systems. I haven't been able to verify this, but it seems to be the case. So I normally just go for it. And you can see I found a system here. Um, this is an independent system in boom with 8.5 million people in it. So... Um, Let's start by heading over to that system and let's see if we can find ourselves some high grades. And as soon as we're in system, we're going to make sure that our hot is set to analysis mode. We're going to find our, find our discovery scanner, which is now a default module on all ships. And we're going to honk the system, like so. We can now open up the new FSS view here. And we can see here 44 signals detected. So what you could do was just to move the tune all the way down to the bottom and then begin looking for signal sources so that's one there that was a distress call not what we're looking for that's one here there's a bunch of there as well i can see let's see degraded not what we're looking for either you can see this if we're not going to go through 44 of these this is going to be really time consuming and you can see so far i'm not having a whole lot of luck but luckily there is a better way what you're going to do is you're going to head over to a navigation panel find the local nav beacon and we're going to jump jump into uh, to that and as soon as we're the nav beacon, we're going to target the beacon itself and we're going to initiate the scan. Happens automatically. And we're going to wait for the scan to complete. As soon as the scan is complete, we can head back out to Super Cruise. Once in Super Cruise, head again back to your navigation panel. Go down to Set Filters here and then select Signal Sources. And we can now see all the signal sources in system. And yes, we can see out even beyond the uh, 1000 light second range. And we can actually see here we got a high grade lucky for us so let's target lock that and let's begin heading out towards it okay so as we're flying here towards our high grade i just quickly want to uh, talk about the box that you can now see here up in the upper right hand corner it lists a faction a state and a time now it doesn't seem like the um that the faction and the state here has anything to do with what you get inside the the, the high grade i thought so at the beginning but i've been able to get um I've been able to get core dynamic composites, which were only should be able in the federal systems. It wasn't a federal system, but the faction that was listed here was an independent faction. So I don't think this is necessarily tying in together with what you're actually gaining from um, from the high grade. Whether that is a bug or not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I feel like that since they listed it here, that this should have something to do with it. Um, but at the moment, it seems like it's not. So. Uh, keep that in mind that uh, this might change later if it is a bug but as it is right now it's currently the 20th of december 2018 um as it is right now this does not seem to have anything 
um, that actually ties it to what you're going to get inside the high grade, um, at least not from my testing. But the timer at the bottom is quite interesting. That's the timer until the, um, the signal source here um, despawns. And luckily that means that we now have about half an hour left to farm this over and over again. I'm going to show you how we do that, but first we have to actually get out there. And we are in. So let's head on to contacts, see what we got. Proto radiolic alloy, proto light alloys, just as we expected from a boom system. So now we can go ahead and we can uh, either you can scoop it up manually. I'm too lazy for that. I bring collector limpets and I'll let them do it for me. So I'll just let my, um, my limpet pick this up and then I'm going to show you how we can reset it. Okay, and as the limpet is coming back with the last materials, there we go. Last one picked up. All we're going to do now is we are quite simply just going to do the good old board hop. Going to log out and we're going to log back in again. As soon as we're back in here, we can see we now find ourselves in empty space. So what we do is we head back into Super Cruise. Once we are in Super Cruise, we can see here if we go to a navigation panel that a signal source has spawned right behind us. So let's get a little bit of distance, throttle down, flip the ship around and let's see what it is. Lo and behold, will you look at that? It's a high grade, has about, well, time seems about right, same faction, same state. And if we drop into this again, like so, we can see that materials have now despawned. Uh, respawn, sorry. And I should say that the number of materials and if there are multiple materials, which how many you get of each, that varies from time to time. Um, so it's not because that if you only get three the first time, you will always only get three and exactly the same materials. That can vary uh, from time to time. So I could send out another collector, let the collector pick up the materials again, and rinse and repeat. I could do this over and over again until that timer runs out. As soon as the timer is out, I have to go out and fight myself a new one. Um, you can try to just jump out of the system, jump back in, so you're back at the nav beacon. Scan the system again, there's a good chance that new uh, signal sources are spawned in the meantime while you've been doing this. Um, but if not nothing really spawns that you can use, you would just have to move on to, uh, to the next system that fits your, um, your search criteria for what you're looking for. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. It's definitely made it a lot easier, especially because you can get like 20 minute, half an hour of efficient farming out of just one high grade, potentially yielding you, yielding you like several runs in the same instance, giving you a ton of materials. If you found this video useful, I would be very glad if you would consider to go down and hit that subscribe button. I'll have a lot more guides and tutorials coming out in the future. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a like if you did, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.